A police officer has been airlifted to hospital with head injuries following a day of clashes with climate change protesters at a coal-fired power station in Nottinghamshire. Hundreds of demonstrators converged at the Ratcliffe on Saw plant and a total of 21 people have been arrested. Our correspondent Anthony Bartram has been following the day's events. After a day of cat and mouse with the protesters, police have given us some more information about the number of arrests. We're told that 21 people are in custody and uh, injury details as well. We're told that a number of people have been hurt on both sides, both protesters and police officers. The most serious we've been told about from the police is one of their own officers who had to be airlifted to hospital earlier with a head injury. We haven't been given any updates as to his condition in hospital, but clearly that is a serious development as far as the police is concerned. Now, throughout the day, they've had a real run around this huge site trying to stop the protesters getting through the perimeter. Now, they were successful within the first five minutes of this so-called climate camp swoop. They got through the first barrier being the, the high perimeter fences and they've had a number of other successes throughout the afternoon but that's as far as they've got they haven't succeeded in their main aim which is to shut down this power station to get into the control room they tell us the police say they're determined that that won't happen and i have to say there are a huge number of officers all around this site both inside and out there are officers on horseback on motorcycle obviously lots of police vans who are at various points are speeding off to different parts of the site to deal with different attempts to get through the barriers. Obviously, what is happening in terms of the injuries, they're generally occurring at the flashpoints where we have demonstrators on one side, obviously very determined to get through the barriers, and police on the other side trying to push them back. As I say, injuries on both sides. The police are concerned about the escalating levels of violence in this uh, operation. This morning, we went to a briefing where we were told that their tactics will be to, to deal with this as a community policing exercise where well, we've just been told that those tactics have changed in the light of what has been happening and that protesters who remain on the site who continue their efforts to trying to get into the power station stand a much higher risk of being arrested. Anthony Bartram reporting there from the Ratcliffe on Soar power station near Nottingham.